He loves to go outside and search for that three-pointer, and he gets away from that body contact. Yes, he does. He wants to play in a tuxedo, and yes, he does he it does. very well. Darius LaShawn Rice, born November 16, 1982. In the game of life, you can be one of the best at what you do, but if no one ever pays attention to it, you eventually phase out of the history books. Some remember the great things you did. Some remember the opportunities you were given and didn't capitalize. Some remember the handshake, autograph, or dap they needed from you and wasn't able to receive. But for the most part, actually 100% of the time, life goes on. Darius Rice, the nephew of Jerry Rice, was more than that in high school. He was everything you could ask for from a high school prospect. So good, he could have even skipped college and went straight to the league. Sounds like a can't-miss prospect, right? Well, he missed. Something he's not used to doing, but he did, and it cost him a chance of playing in the NBA. Here's why. It's your boy JC, StunnerGrow3.com. Let's get it, man. If you know me, ain't no question, yeah, I'm packing. Yeah. Got the pistol, bad a dick, I ain't a jacket. Yeah. If I ain't making no money, then I'm stacking. Get it. Ain't no Houdini, but I just like magic. Yeah. Today's feature is brought to you by L.H. and his song, Packing. If you want to hear this song in full, make sure you follow him on all social platforms and drop a like and a comment about what you think. Darius Rice is from Jackson, Mississippi, and played at Lanier High, the same school Monte Ellis was able to jump to the NBA straight from high school from just five years after Darius had that fateful chance. At 6'10", Rice was a mismatch every time down the floor in high school. By his senior year, he averaged 25 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks a game. He was named a McDonald's All-American and dropped 24 points in that game. This was a class with names like Darius Miles, Deshaun Stevenson, Eddie Griffin, Gerald Wallace, Chris Duhon, and more that had lengthy careers in the NBA. And Rice was arguably the best and definitely had the most potential. This was also an era where jumping straight from high school was a popular thing and welcomed with open arms by the NBA since KG made it popular just five years before Rice had that chance. The league was looking for the next big thing in the early 2000s with MJ retiring. Sure, they had Shaq, Allen Iverson, and Kobe, but there was room for another dynamic force that the NBA was missing. They'd achieved that three years later when LeBron entered the league, then many followed. Darius Rice had that first chance to be that guy, and here's the stunt I think was the biggest in his growth or lack thereof. Stunt number one, not jumping straight to the NBA. In the late 90s, early 2000s, there were a few high school names buzzing in the basketball world that maybe had the chance to make the jump. Of course, Darius Miles, until the McDonald's All-American game. If Darius Rice needed any answer to whether he should make the jump or go to school, this was the game that should have given him the nod. As mentioned earlier, he was spectacular in that game. His size for his position, he could shoot it smooth and had that swagger about him at that time. He, along with Deshaun Stevenson, made a name for themselves, or at least made it stronger in this very game. I remember Stevenson was throwing alley-oops, catching them, flexing, and Darius was just out there getting buckets on the opposing team. Darius Miles was also a highlight reel, but even then, I was looking at the screen as a youngster, like who's that guy? The one that looks and plays like Miles, but he shoots better and is bigger. Darius Miles and Deshaun Stevenson both capitalized on great showings on a national stage and decided to go pro. They were both first round picks, with Miles being a top three selection. For whatever reason, Darius Rice didn't accept that offer and I'm sure he questions that decision often. He would have been a first round pick and most definitely at least a second rounder. He had way too much potential and youth was leaning on his side, not to mention the bloodline from a marketability standpoint of being related to Jerry Rice. 
But it's not only that he chose to go to school, even after he produced such a storied high school career. It's also where he chose to go. Rice had offers from big name schools like Kentucky, Memphis, Mississippi State, and Arkansas, but passed on those to go to University of Miami, a football school that virtually had no name in the world of basketball at that time, and completely unparalleled to what the expectations of him were. Many wondered why he'd choose such a small school for his stature as a player. Him going to a school like Kentucky would have given him a chance to prove himself, live up to the hype he'd created, and made the ones with expectations happy, which goes a long way. Aside from him going to a relatively unknown school, he went there and was average most times. He didn't have the career an NBA player with first round expectations should have. He was just okay, and that's a no-no when you choose to go that route. You better ball, and you better do it early. Rice missed that NBA window and put himself behind the eight ball. Stunt number two, staying at UM. On top of going to school and just being okay at this small school, Rice also made the mistake of staying entirely too long. Remember, this is a guy who some scouts had their eyes on leaving high school had he entered the draft. He was supposed to explode in college, a la Carmelo Anthony or Kevin Durant. If you're good enough to have been drafted, the thinking is, surely you can go to a level lower and have your way. He did his thing. Many nights, he did look the part. That's just letting you know how high the expectations were for him. Surely you can dominate at a program where you're the man from day one, right? Well, Rice's UM career goes something like this. As a freshman, he came in and was solid. He led the team in scoring with the junior John Salmons and sophomore James Jones, who both went on to have lengthy NBA careers. He was the best player on the team, but you can't help but see it from a scout or GM's perspective. We thought you were better than that. 14 points at Miami, just five rebounds at 6'10", zero blocks a game at 6'10", no way. His freshman year should have went like this. 19 points a game, seven rebounds, two blocks at least for what he was perceived to be able to do. Dude was a potential lottery pick just a year ago. He decides to come back for his second year. At this point, scouts are a little disappointed that he's still in school getting older and have new eyes for new prospects. They're also expecting him to have a breakout sophomore season where he averages nothing less than 20 points a game and eight rebounds and takes his team to the tournament. This is a make or break year for a guy in his situation. If you can't show you can do it after a year's experience with your talents and physical advantages, then there's no place for you in the fast paced world of the NBA. He came back and averaged basically the same numbers, improving slightly in the ones that mattered like scoring, shooting, defense, and most importantly, rebounding. Darius was before his time though, I would say that. He really was. That in itself is one of this guy's many stunts. He was pretty much KD Brandon Ingram before those guys, but he never developed other skills like rebounding and blocking shots. Something at his size that is simply expected, especially at Miami. Of course, this wasn't enough for scouts and obviously not enough for Rice, so he came back for the all-important junior year, practically the last chance for a recruit as highly touted as Darius. John Salmons was now off to the league, so Rice had free reign to do as he pleased. His scoring finally took a significant jump from 14 a game to almost 19 a game. He was clearly the best player on the team, but still at just five rebounds, virtually no block shots, and not having the scoring year that he should at that school made it doubtful his first round status, but still a great chance at being a second round pick after the year he had produced, where his team didn't even make the tournament. He decides to come back for the drudged senior year. At this point, your potential has all been eaten up and the lore of your youth now blown in the wind. Now you're expected to be great. He averaged less points and shot the ball the worst of his career, and his team failed to make the tournament again. 
That was the final straw as we knew it for Rice to become this phenom he was expected to be. His four-year career ended up being simply average and he didn't make a difference on his team winning-wise. The only thing worse than shunning the draft when you have the chance is going somewhere instead and underperforming. Stunt number three, opportunities were given. Another reason I think Rice never made it to the league is because he wasn't ready, didn't take advantage, was too old, or wasn't good enough for the opportunities he had to make the NBA. Over his career after going undrafted, he's had multiple opportunities to make a team through summer leagues, individual workouts, and the connections he's made, and also playing multiple seasons in the D-League, even winning a championship and exploding for 52 points in that game. None of these things helped him get a job, and you have to begin to look at him as the reason why. I think him not being much more than an oversized shooter trapped in the wrong era that didn't help his team down low on rebounds and defensively hurt him. When he finally semi-developed those things, it was just too late and there were younger, more fit guys behind him. He missed a crucial window early in his career and because of his skills not developing soon enough, even with the opportunities, things just didn't work out. It's like that sometimes. He went on to play successful seasons all across the world and has made the best out of those situations and also made a living doing what he loves. So ultimately, in life, that's a win. Salute to Darius Rice, but for the reasons mentioned above, I think his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC, StunnerGrow3.com, and I'm out. So bad, I told her, damn, damn I wanted, I wanted it. Wanted hit that shit. shit, a superstition did told me, come get it. Come get Ain't shit. had no breakfast, so a nigga had to eat it. Yeah. It took yeah. an hour, but I promised her fat minutes. Sorry.